geocaching is a lot of fun, and there's some really creative caches out there. But you've probably never seen one like I'm about to make. To make the crazy geocache puzzle box, you're going to need a box. Now the one I'm using is a metal cache box. It's got a key lock and a small button that opens it up. And I'll be using my KipK kit DIY Arduino. This will be the brains of the locking mechanism. A small RC car servo motor will be doing the locking. And it'll all be powered by three AAA batteries and a small holder. To make it a challenging puzzle, I had to gather 10 different colors of wire. And now back to our metal box. The original locking mechanism is riveted in, so I'm going to use my Dremel tool and grind away at those rivets until the lock comes off. Then out to the garage for a camo green paint job. Since this metal box is not going to survive the elements, I had to find a waterproof plastic box, which I did. And the metal box fits perfectly inside. I wanted to house the Arduino board and the battery pack in something, and I found a small plastic crayon box that everything fit in. Oh, and I drilled two small holes in the side for our wires. And speaking of wires, it's time to insert the wires from our servo motor and the two wires that'll activate our box. After everything was wired up, I touched the two wires together and our servo motor worked. The Arduino program I wrote will reverse the servo every five minutes as long as the wires are held together. Just enough time to sign the log and trade some goodies. To suck the moisture out, I put a silica gel pack inside the crayon box where our Arduino is. Then, after applying a heavy dose of hot glue, I secured the crayon box inside of the metal box. Some double-sided mounting tape is going to be needed for this next tricky part, lining up the servo arm with the latch. And my GoPro camera came in handy to see exactly what was going on inside that box. It's lined up. With the servo motor hot glued in place, I tested it out. And sure enough, the box was locked. And when I pressed the two correct wires together, it unlocked. I tied a knot in those two wires to hold them in place and then started feeding all the other dummy wires. Once those were in, I tied knots in those and everything was nice and snug and nothing was coming out. I trimmed and stripped those dummy wires so they were all the same length and I put a tight-fitting cap over that hole in our metal box. Oh, and as a backup, if the batteries ever die and it's locked, I can just use a button cell battery with the two correct secret wires to open the box back up. Back out to the garage now for another camo paint job. This time on the plastic box, I used some leaves to give it a really cool camo effect. Now, we need some swag and a logbook. We'll put that in a Ziploc bag and put it all inside of the metal box and close it up. And finally, I printed out a sticker with an official geocache label and instructions on how to unlock the box by finding the two secret wires and touching them together. Then they have five minutes to sign the log and exchange some goodies, and the box will lock again. And that's how to make the crazy geocache puzzle box. Hey, if you like my projects, then you'll love the stuff my buddies do over at Cottage Life. Their YouTube channel's got some really cool and challenging outdoor style projects, like this awesome floating hot tub. Their videos are really entertaining and fun. They saw, hammer, and drill like crazy, and make stuff you've probably never seen before. So if you're a Kip K subscriber, you need to be a Cottage Life subscriber. So head on over to their channel right now and subscribe to them too. It's Cottage Life. You can click here, and there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.